Right then, Kelsey. So there's your golf swings now, before and after, left and right, okay? So grip-wise, okay, we've got to make sure that grip's in the fingers of your left hand. That thumb is just off to the side, I say, show that sort of parallel right thumb, okay? And that little V or crease, as we said, grips your right shoulder. Very good, all right? Problem you had in your golf swing was there were some things in your swing that would send the ball off to the right yeah. and cause you at the top of the golf ball, hit it a bit low, okay? Those things there now were a collapsing of the arm, cupping of the wrist, and the grip being what it was. So what then you did from here to recover this club face, it's very narrow and sort of tucked up here, would kind of throw the club out and straighten your arms, okay? Try and twist the club and drop down. And you got pretty good at it, okay? But it requires three or four rungs to make a run. And on a range after 10 or 15 shots in a row repeatedly, you got good at it, okay? When you get on the golf course, you want for consistency, you're playing an eight iron, playing one of these, playing one of these, all these different clubs in the bag. If you're relying on three or four different movements, it's gonna be very tough, okay? So, what we're going to try and do now in terms of swing, get your club there, okay? Nice, yeah, nice. much higher left arm, okay? Juniors and, I say not children, but younger people are going to be more flexible anyway, mm -hmm. so their club is always going to be a little bit longer than standard anyway. Yeah, right. But you can see now your left arm is not anatomically straight. Don't lock your left arm, okay? It's extended. When you walk down the street, your arm doesn't stay dead, so there's a little bit of hinge in your elbow as you go back, and your arm naturally swings, they don't sort of walk around kind of, stiff locked arm do you okay the arms are going to move and hinge slightly okay so as you then came down to the golf ball now you can move into the golf ball nice width down the golf ball. the left arm is staying a lot more extended there's no change now in that width of the swing so your sort of circle back to the golf ball is nice and consistent good strike of the ball and then a full then twist through onto the left side okay as you saw the last 108 yards okay what you found over time when that instinct of before that was recovering this this and the club face that will eventually start going because you don't need to recover the club that's not aiming right or too high yeah you're just starting okay well the club's here now oh there's the ball there Shoo, back to the ball rather than going here and then all these changes okay so the less things you've got going on the better okay you asked about the left knee good question okay yeah the left knee moves if i'm being honest everybody part moves in the goal zone because it starts from the ground to the head everything's moving kind of in a different direction and different movement, but you can't think about every single point part of your body. You just get tied in knots. Okay, that makes sense? Yep. Good stuff.